Well, hello, Mr. Ippolito students. This is Mr. Ippolito. And today we're going to answer the question, how many tail feathers are on the eagle and what is the significance? Why this number? So I've had a couple of students email me saying, Mr. Ippolito, um, okay, so I counted 13 stars here and I counted 13 olive branches and I counted 13 olives and I counted 13 uh, arrows and I counted 13 stripes. And I know that all the 13 stripes and arrows and olives and olive branches and stars all represent the 13 original states of the United States. But Mr. Ippolito, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mr. Ippolito, there are only nine tail feathers. Are you messing with me? What's going on? So let's Google and let's see if we can figure out why does the American Eagle have nine tail feathers? And... This is why you need to be careful with Google. Watch this. I'm going to click on the top result, the real meaning and significance of the Great Seal of the United States. And I will do a search for feathers. And you'll notice it says right here, the main feature of our national seal is an American eagle, blah, 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 blah. The head of the eagle represents the president. The top of the shield called the chief represents the Congress. And the eagle's tail feathers symbolize the judiciary. You will notice there are nine feathers, one for each justice of the Supreme Court. Well, here's the problem with that. Because back in 1776, Abraham, uh, not Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, John Adams, they were tasked not only with writing the Declaration of Independence, they were the Declaration Committee after all, along with Robert Livingston and Roger Sherman, uh, but they were also tasked with coming up with a great seal of the United States now, which is kind of like our official logo, right? Our official emblem. Now, uh, they had, they couldn't quite agree. And so we kind of went back and forth on a design for a few years between 1776. But we finally, in 1782, finally settled on a design. Now, let me go ahead and show you this. Uh, let me move this out of the way and let's go here. So the uh, the original design of the Great Seal of the United States in 1782, this is what it looks like. We'll bring this in here. And a man named Charles Thompson, who was the secretary of, this, of the Continental Congress in 1782, after basically getting all of the, the Continental Congress gave him like, this is what it should look like, right? They gave him a word, a, a text description of the seal. And so then he, using his great artistic ability, he made this design that you see right here. This is the original uh, design as it will eventually like evolve into ours, right? And so you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 stripes. We have the 13 stars. Still kind of working on the olive branches. And the I, I'm sure we could probably count if we look hard enough. 13 uh, arrow tips and 13 olive branches. But if we look down here at the feathers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's the deal? Well, here's the deal. First of all, nowhere in the text description, and you can dig and dig all you want, but nowhere in the text description does it actually tell the artist how many arrows to have or how many olive branches to have or how many stars or how many stripes on the shield or how many tail feathers. Artists throughout the years have taken what is required to be there. They're required to be stars and they're required to be stripes on a shield and an eagle. Um, and the eagle's head is required to be facing towards the olive branches because that is we are constantly seeking peace, but we will resort to war if necessary. Um, but it never gives a number of stripes or stars or olive branches or arrows or tail feathers. And so it has always been up to the artist's interpretation to determine how many uh, how many feathers and stripes and arrows and all of that. Now, we have had for most of our history, including going all the way back to 1782, 13 stars and 13 stripes. And there were 13 stars and 13 stripes on our original American flag. However, we have to debunk this whole idea of the uh, this one right here. Let's go back here. We have to debunk this if you google search this is why you always need to be careful when you're google searching because this is wrong and how do we know this is wrong well we know it's wrong for a couple of reasons first of all the supreme court of the united states hasn't always had nine justices it actually started out with six justices back in the day when the supreme court was first created now let's go back 
So that's reason number one why, why this is wrong. But here's another way, reason why this is wrong. The great seal of the uh, United States right here, this first seal was first created in 1782. Now, what do we know about the timeline about the Articles of Confederation and the Constitution? Did we even have a constitution yet in 1782? And the answer is no, we didn't. We didn't have a constitution written until 1787, and it didn't go into effect until 1788. And as you know, one of the problems, one of the weaknesses of the Articles of Confederation was there was no Supreme Court. There was no judicial branch. So how could the tail feathers represent the justices of the Supreme Court when in 1782 there was no Supreme Court of the United States to begin with? So why are there nine tail feathers? Who knows? It is just up to the artist's discretion. That is the reason why there are nine feathers. The artist could draw eight or seven or six or 12, and it wouldn't make a difference. But whenever you see the 13 of everything else, yes, the artist is trying to represent the original 13 states of the United States. Hope that helps. Hope you learned a little something, a little history trivia for you. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.